Hey guys, just want to do a quick review on this holster that I picked up for, uh, uh, I have a G3C, a Taurus G3C, but it works also for the G2C, the PT-111. Uh, and uh, it's a pretty uh, pretty solid holster, so I figured I'd share my opinion on it. Uh, it. It's made from a crystal polymer, I believe is the, the type of material. Uh, it's a very durable, uh, thick, hard plastic. Um, the cool thing about this holster outside of it being clear is that it's convertible. So it can go from an in waistband holster to an out of waistband holster. And I'll show you how you switch it. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. So I'll break it down for you at the end of this video for those that want to see how to change it. Uh, but basically you're just unscrewing these, but there's some components in there that you got to be mindful of when you switch it. But it's set up out of the box as an in waistband holster, which it's not bad for. I really think this shines uh, and does well as an out of waistband holster. And that's primarily how I use it. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, I have it set up the way it came in the box, which was in waistband. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like as an in waistband holster. Okay, so I got it on right here. You can see what it looks like with the shirt on. Uh, it's pretty good, pretty good at concealing for those that want to conceal. Um, and there it is right there. Really solid. I typically always wear mine at front right. And comes out pretty nicely. Goes in, real good click. Cover back up. It feels pretty good, you know, it's very stable. Uh, the two clips makes it extra durable. Matter of fact, it's really hard to take it off your belt without removing your belt, you know. Uh, so that's a good thing, though, when you're buying a holster. You want one that's really, really solid. Feels pretty good inside. Uh, and I'll show you how to convert it right now. Uh, and uh, then I'll show you what it looks like wearing it out of waistband. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to unscrew these. Uh, I always start on the side that has less components. So this side right here. Now it comes with a Phillips screwdriver and uh, this is great, but I find it much quicker to use a drill uh, for the initial uh, removal of the screws. And then to fully tighten it, I use the manual uh, screwdriver. So let's start by unscrewing this. And it's got these little rubber washers right there. So we're going to take these and remove these pieces. We're in the back and you're basically just going to switch them to the other side. All right. Now you want to leave these inside. These are basically uh, pretty thick rubber washers there and there to adjust the pressure of the, the gun. So we leave those in. And then what you're gonna do is put your, your screw uh, back in this uh, hole. So what I like to do is get these washers lined up first. And then I'll feed the screws in. Now, if you wanna adjust the cant, the angle of your holster, you're basically going to use different, like you're gonna set your, uh, this clip up higher and then the other clip down lower and then that'll kind of slope uh, the holster in whichever direction you want so you can do it either way but I'm going to keep them both in the same position for now just to kind of keep this nice and easy and we feed those screws in there and then with the drill I'm just going to initially tighten these up and now you want to keep your finger on the back there and I'll show you why in a second is if you don't you know these could end up rotating and it's not going to do any good tightening it so I just typically hold these down while I screw in now I don't over tighten I'll do that with the manual screwdriver um, let's loosen these up on this side and on this side you'll notice there's a few extra pieces to work with 
All right, so I'm gonna take these screws out. Okay, you notice that there's this set up here, so we're gonna keep that plastic piece there. But, okay, we're gonna drop these out. We're just gonna switch these and switch these. Now, be mindful, there's a piece in the middle there. So it, as you do this, you wanna keep this all kind of tight so nothing falls out. All right, and then basically what we're going to do is put those rubber washers right here. Try to line them up. Okay, and then match the same configuration as you did with the other clip in regards to where the screws go in, unless you want to adjust the cant, which then you'd make one a little higher and one a little lower. Okay, wiggle those screws in. Tighten it up a little. All right, and then I'll go through with the provided screwdriver and tighten it up till, till I feel kind of a, you know, a nice grip. And then at that point, what you want to do is try it out. Make sure the pressure feels good to you. It feels good to me right there. And that's it. Now it's converted to an auto waistband holster. And I'll show you how that looks while I'm wearing it. All right. So now I got it set up as auto waistband. All right. I usually like to wear it kind of like right on the right hip there. Um, and it feels really secure. Gives you that nice clip coming in and out. Again, if you want to adjust the angle on it, you can by where you place the, the clips on there. That's why you have the various holes. I like it set up just kind of like even, you know. Um, feels real good. Cool thing about this clip, outside of the fact that it's convertible to in and out of waistband, is that it's clear, you know. I'll be honest with you, myself, I'm not a big out of waistband guy. The only time I wear this is uh, when I go to the range. Uh, to shoot, you know, and I like to just keep it handy right on my side. But uh, typically I wear in waistband holsters. Uh, but for those that like out of waistband holsters and also for those that like to, uh, you know, show their pistol, because I know some of you have, uh, you know, the camel finish or two-tone or a really nice looking pistol, which I, I really think this one is as well. But, um, for those that have, uh, you know, put in a lot of time to make their, their handgun stand out a little looks-wise, that's a cool feature that it's not all black, that it's clear and you can see through it. It's just something you don't find, you know, it's kind of a unique product. But anyways, I, I like this thing. It's a pretty solid holster. I'd recommend it. Again, more for out of waistband. Um, and also, that shows off its primary feature of it being clear. Because uh, what point's a clear holster if it's in waistband? But I love the option that you can convert it if you need to. But again, I think its primary purpose and where it shines best uh, is wearing it out of waistband. Yeah, anyways, guys, that's uh, pretty much my review on this uh, clear holster. Uh, real solid setup. I think you'll be happy with it. Great for out of waistband carry. Uh, I got it on Amazon. Um, I know they make this for a variety of different uh, pistols, Glock, Taurus. Um, I think you'll be real happy with it. I'll leave a link for it in the description. It was fairly inexpensive. Um, and uh, yeah, hope this video helped you out. If it did, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.